Santa at the beginning of the parade this year. There's Santa right there. I'm going to zoom in. Someone stuck a camera in my face. Closer together. Oh, uh, no, this is. Oh. She won't arrest I know she. Uh, well, maybe I, maybe I wanted to. Hey, what's going on? This is JT watching HyannisNews.com and JT's Chronicles. I am at the Toys for Tots at the Toys R Us store in Hyannis. It is Sunday, and um, a lot of people down here, a lot of people giving from all parts of town, from Pete Town all the way to Falmouth, everywhere. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? Because I saw you out here, a lot of people seem to love you. My name is Rachel Peters. I'm a police officer with Provincetown. Uh, I've been with Provincetown since um, 1982. Okay. See, this is the kind of relationship that everybody should have with their officers in their town. So, Absolutely. What do you do in your town? What else to, to kind of bring the community together? Um, I do, for a while I've done the um, elder services. I do a lot of volunteer stuff. Um, I assist Officer Spore and Officer Landry with the Toys for Tots. Um, I reach out to the community. I do a lot of volunteer stuff when I can. What do you think people should do right now to try to get more involved with the Toys for Tots, the community, just bringing people together and just making life a little bit better for everybody around here? Oh, we could do a little more outreach, I think. I would get people together a little bit more. Are you a true Cape Carter? 
I am. I was born and raised in Provincetown. Really? I used to love going to Freetown, especially during the summertime for some fried dough at the uh, bakery there. The fried dough, oh, is it still there? Right up my alley. Oh, you already, yes. One to eat in P-Town, one to eat in the car on the way home, and then two more for when you get home. That's why I have this, these six pack. Well, I got like a belly, but it's good. That's why I have one too. See, you like Jag? I do. Oh, all right, a cop with the Jag and fried dough, and she takes care of the community. It's JT watching HindusNews.com, JT's Chronicles. Toys for Tots. Come on down. We're still here. Um, and if you missed today, you can always donate, right? Absolutely. You can always drop it off at any uh, police station okay. on the Lower Cape. Great. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks. Careful, man. Don't die. That's like $9 worth of drinks right there. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, come on through. Things. What else do you think we should do, especially during the holidays, to build up so we go year-round, Brian? What do you think? What else should we do? Oh, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, you can go and get the high schools involved. Uh, especially I did this year with the police department by making them a drop zone. Uh, you go with the police and fire, you can go out to the community, or well, the community can come to us and you know, offer their services. Or if you're a restaurant, if you're a business owner, just say, hey, you can put a box here, we'll collect toys for you. And it really bridges the gaps together between everybody. Exactly. And I know you did a lot of stuff, and you're helping us out also with the Bounceable Flight Football League with Tim Luce and I, and we have more people that come and help out, and that's tons. That's kindergarten all the way to eighth grade, because I think that's why some of the most crucial time frame that you need to get involved with the children. We see you with the Boys and Girls Club, being Big Brother and all that. Um, what made you want to get involved with the Big Brothers? Uh, you know what, it's, it's funny because I'm the youngest of seven kids, so I never had a little person to like bring around and do things with. I was always the one that's just like, you know, getting dragged around and stuff. So it, it was, when the opportunity came about, I said, absolutely, I don't have kids of my own. You know, what am I gonna do with my spare time? So I said, why not give back to the community? And having a little brother, it's just, it's so much fun. I mean, it keeps you young. Stuff that, I do stuff that I normally wouldn't do on my own. You know, so it's pretty awesome. Good. I see, I see Brian out there, and this is, this is real. Like, he's been doing it, so it's not just for one day, and then he takes and turns away, like some other people do. This is real. You're gonna start and commit to doing something. Follow it through, because these kids need you. I have a lot of kids, I have kids at my house right now. I'm, They've been there since five. I don't even know what you're doing. You're, uh, hopefully, you're, you're folding the laundry and getting that stuff in the trash from off the house and doing the dishwasher. I don't want to get into it. I, I, I got to tell you, one of the things that I, I do, I love to do, I'm a school officer from Hyannis West. <laughs> and it's like having 400 of my own little kids. It, it's unbelievable. Absolutely. I mean, from having lunch with them, uh, just to go into class, you know, read with them, and it's awesome. It's good. So. And so anybody can volunteer to do, even if you have a very tight schedule, you want to do something for a day and volunteer. I'm sure if you hit up. Brian, he'll tell you what's going on and, and let you know what's going on. Hey, just to let you know, because I know a lot of people have this elf on the shelf, um, there are many different uh, elf on the shelves. I have the West Indian elf on the shelf, which has been with me for about three years. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. From Cape Verde, you know, uh, not Cape Verde, because that's, that's West Indian, Barbados, he's Bayesian. Yeah. Great. So he's been working with me. You know, I'm teaching him. He's, oh, God, all day. Yeah. I, I, I think we need one of these. Yeah, I think everybody should have one of those. Everybody should have one because, I mean, they're, they're awesome. You got to make sure the, the little kids don't touch them, though, because you lose his power. Exactly. Don't touch them. I can touch them. I'm an adult, but we have an understanding, so that's why he's with us. Yeah. So this is how we get all the toys and all our work done, is little guys like this. So. All right. So, hey, like I said, if you missed today because you're working or you're out doing chores, you can still donate for Toys for Tots, and um, they can do it anywhere, right? Absolutely. Uh, the police and fire departments will collect all the way up to Christmas, so okay. yeah, it doesn't end here. This is just the uh, end of the parade and the uh, kind of little competition that we have. So good luck to all the you know, fire and police departments, and you know, hopefully Bonson will bring it home again this year. Or this year. We won't do it. Don't, don't let that basketball game where you got sandwich beat us. We're not, that's, that's just, <laughs> we're not going to discuss that right now. But this is JT. You're watching HighnessNews.com and JT's Chronicles. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Thank you.
I think in this day and age, when people make the effort that they're making to sit here and watch people go in with just the goal of giving something away, people go into the store and they come out and all they have is the bags, they bring them over to the bus and then they walk away. And I love hearing the, them explain to their kids, this is why we do it, so that there are children who don't have any other opportunity to get something. And seeing the kids get involved, it's so exciting. So exciting, because it's, it's an effort. It's, it's feeling good about what you're doing, and it's making sure that you reach out and let everybody have an opportunity to experience the good of life.